Saka has hailed Thierry Henry and he has come out and let us know that he is the reason as to why he's on fire this season as he is now. That's what Bukayo Saka has come out and said about Thierry Henry. And Patrick Vieira, the captain of Arsenal, has been inducted into the Premier League Wall of Fame. Welcome to Rokan Media. How are you guys and where are you watching us from? This is the channel that brings you your latest news and information as far as all your football news around the world is concerned. Smash the like button, comment and share. And if at all you're watching us for the very first time, endeavor to subscribe to our channel so as not to miss that on stories that we do upload in here on a daily. I go by the names of R&D and this is what we do on a daily onto this channel and we bring it to you live and direct in here today so if at all you're watching us for the very first time endeavor to go into the lower right bottom corner smash the subscription button hit the notification bell and click all that will enable you get notified each and every time I upload a video to this channel let's get into these stories now the man we are talking about is the current is the current manager of a team which goes by names of Crystal Palace, that is Patrick Vieira. This man was amazing. Those that never watched football during those days, you guys, you are missing out on fun. That's why I really tell people that football has not gotten spoiled, but because of the so too much money that has been injected into it, has stopped players from coming out and expressing their real talent to us. Back in the days, it was all about a player's talent. He used to come in there, do the needful, and when the player does the needful, he really gets the base that he really deserves. 45 years of age, that is Patrick Vieira in there for you. He made a couple of appearances for a team which goes by names of Arsenal, and I really believe that it's the most team that he played for a lot. 279 appearances for a side which goes by names of Arsenal in there. For Cairns in France, he made 49 and scored two goals. In Milan, he played two games and scored zero goals. Juventus, he played 31 and scored 5 goals. Inter Milan, he played 67 and scored 6 goals. Manchester City, he played 28 games and scored 3 goals. In total, he played 456 games and scored 45 goals. And on the French national team, he played for the under-21s under from 1995 to 1996, 7 games, 0 goals. In, for the national team of France, he played from 1997 to 2009. Those were 12 years, 107 appearances, and he made all scored six goals in there. And is during those years, in 1998, Patrick Vieira won the World Cup with France in there after beating Brazil by three goals to nil in the finale in there. So that is the man we are talking about who has been inducted into the Premier League Wall of Fame. It was really, the first player to be inducted in there was, I think, Alan Shearer, yeah? Roy Keane was put in there, Robin Van Persie, Ruth Van Nestroy. So they have put up other names that are really going to follow him in there. When you look at Patrick Vieira, he was the captain of Arsenal. He made 397 appearances for Arsenal. 32 goals for Arsenal and 44 assists into that red shirt of Arsenal in there for you. He won three Premier Leagues for a team which goes by names of Arsenal and four FA Cups for a side which goes by names of Arsenal. He really deserves to be into the Hall of Fame of the Premier League in there. They've inducted him there and we wait who is going to be the next player. Even Steven Gerrard was inducted in there and let's wait and see which others are really going to be inducted into the Hall of Fame. One thing I remember about Patrick Vieira is that he was a serious man and he was a captain who used to do things on the pitch. So he had all the authority and credibility to come out and back out a player that, what are you doing? You are not helping our team. You get? Not like a captain like Harry Maguire, support Manchester United. So I keep, I have very many examples that concern Manchester United, what I say about other clubs. Harry Maguire cannot come out and go in front of a player and tell him why are you doing ABCD because he's one of the worst performers on the pitch. So Patrick Vieira was not that type of captain. He was captain fantastic in there and he really did the needful in there for you. He'll be remembered so much about that brawl he always had with Roy Keane especially when United was playing a side which goes by the names of Manchester sorry, Manchester United in there for you. So it was really, 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 really a very, a very big brawl in between these two, but he has been inducted in there. And Gunners.com has come out and said the only invisible captain in PL history, that's it. They made that run 2003-2004 that season. Arsenal was unbeaten until United went ahead to stop their unbeaten in 
in the next year when they are really going to make 50 games unbeaten in the Premier League and United broke it. I remember when Rooney and Ruth Van Estroy were on target onto that game. Remember the, pre the previous season, United had, had a chance to break that, but at Highbury, United got a penalty to the dying minutes and Ruth Van Estroy hit it and it struck off the bar and it went out. And then the Browell came out. I will remember those scenes like they happened yesterday. Patrick Vera got hold of Roy Keane, Roland Meyer got hold of Ruth Van Nistroy. You get it was a very big brawl in there, but that was a chance United had to break it, but they didn't break it, and Arsenal went ahead to win that 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 trophy of the Premier League. And I really believe that was their last Premier League trophy. They won. Now, the rivalry with Roy Keane will be remembered, the masterclass at Old Trafford for the double and the goal at Sheet Hart Lane to win. The league. The greatest midfielder in PL history, Patrick Vieira, has been inducted into the Premier League Hall of Fame in there. Patrick Vieira, congratulations in there. This is what people work for. We don't work for money sometimes, though we need it, but the legacy you leave behind will always come out and follow you up. In the, even if you are into your grave, your legacy, whether good or bad, it will come on you, but it's better to have a very good legacy into this era in there. So that's Patrick Vieira in there for you. He has been inducted and congratulations in there for you. After that, we go to Bukayo Saka. Bukayo Saka has really come out and hailed a player who goes by the name of Thierry Homri, once a captain of Arsenal. I think he's the all-time goal scorer of Arsenal in there. He has loads and loads of goals in there for you and that is Thierry Henry in there. Bukayo Saka, in his own words, has said this. Thierry Henry is a hero to me because of what he has done for because of what he did to my club. He was amazing at football, but he's amazing person too. After the Euros, he went out his way to get my number and message me and told me I am a hero. That meant everything to me in there. So, guys, there are heroes that are not appreciated. You get unsound heroes in this situation. We saw very many people like Arsenal players coming out and welcoming back Bukayo Saka. After the Euros, remember, he missed a penalty. And only three black players missed penalties. Sancho, Rashford, and Bukayo Saka. And they are really trolled and loads, loads of racism attacks and abuses were directed to them. But people were arrested in there. But the nation came back, came back and really stood firm against all... Not against. Came and stood firm along... Bukayo Saka in there, Marcus Rashford and Sancho in there. But this is something that we never knew in there. Most people have seen Bukayo Saka having a very brilliant season in there. They don't know the turning point of this. And Bukayo Saka coming out and revealing this at this moment shows that it's the most important thing that happened to him. Because, give, let me give you an example. You might be going through a certain, a certain, a certain situation in there. And then someone comes and tells you, you know, I, I was a black player. I played in the Premier League. And these are things that you should really get used to. It's bad that happened to you, but that should be the reason as to why you should lift yourself up to go and shut down the banks of those criticisms that are coming in from those bad-mannered people in there. So, to me, I really believe that Bukayo Saka has come out and issued this out because he knows that this is the turning point of his season. Right now, Bukayo Saka has scored 12 goals this season for Arsenal in there, and he looks like he's going to clock or click a 20 goal mark for the very first time in his career and that was because of Thierry Henry because Thierry Henry was at Arsenal he did it and he is the most famous player in the last two decades that has ever played for Arsenal in there for you and he was a result oriented player that he really came at Arsenal and really turned things around he won them he won them um, he won them three Premier League titles in there four FA Cups and there is another trophy no he really he really took them to the Champions League final in 2000. It was 2006. I remember 2006, yeah, before he left for Barcelona. He single-handedly took Arsenal in there because he beat teams from the round of 16. He was eliminating every goal that Arsenal scored, that saw it through. It was all because of Thierry Henry in there. So to me, I really believe that Saka coming out and hailing Thierry Henry is a very good positive because he did that job and coming out and really bringing him out means that he is the only one who might have come through and told him please just go on and play your game you're a hero you're a hero you get and if at all someone like Thierry Henry with the reputation that he has comes out and really puts that hail on you and that strength on you it's like has instilled a steel heart you get if your heart was 
was made of of like something soft then that advice that was given to you Bukayo Saka turned his heart from being soft to being hard you get and he knew that I can go and have a very big season now after all what that was said and after Thierry Henry came out and we really told him that you were a hero no one can come out and criticize Bukayo Saka anymore after having this fantastic season. I know most of you know what I'm talking about. Bukayo Saka is really having a very fantastic season at Arsenal in there for you. And Thierry Henry is the reason for him being hailed like this. Thank you guys for watching in. Go into the comment section and tell me what you think about Bukayo Saka coming out and hailing Thierry Henry. Thierry Henry called him a hero. And he turned his season around. And I don't know what you think about Patrick Vieira being inducted into the Premier League Hall of Fame in there for you. So I go for the names of Rokan David, aka RD. I'm out. See you later. May the Almighty God protect you. And I cover you all in the blood of the mighty Jesus Christ. I'm out.